A few weeks ago, I was presented with temptation. I was presented with the temptation of chocolate muffins and of brownies. And it was right at the time where I was having a cup of coffee and I was thinking, man, that muffin or that brownie looks so, so good. And I tried to resist that temptation. Well, it brings back, fast forward to now, brings me to a devotion on, a devotional on temptation. How do you avoid temptation? I'm not just talking about muffins and brownies, and I'll let you in on a little secret at the end. For temptations that are spiritual temptations, how do we avoid the spiritual temptations and turn it into a growth, a spiritual growth experience? Well, I think that there are at least five things we can do to avoid temptation that will also grow us spiritually. The first, I think, is that we recognize our temptation to our, our tendency to sin. We are all sin-filled people and we sin every day. There might be sins of that we are very aware of and we uh, ask for forgiveness later. We don't ask for permission. We forget the permission part and we ask for forgiveness later. And there are sins that we just have no clue of what we've done. So I think that we need to realize that we have a tendency to sin. And then I think the next thing we do is, maybe one of the next things we can do is to flee from that temptation. When we recognize that we have a tendency to sin, then that means that we recognize that what our weaknesses are and when the enemy is working on us and we can flee from that. Maybe we flee from it, not physically running away, like maybe I felt like running away from the brownies and the muffins. In fact, I put them where I could not see them as soon as I got them and then went into another room to continue to work. But it doesn't have to be a physical running away. Maybe we flee to scripture and we read God's word because we know that God's word is not having nothing to do with the enemy. So while the enemy is tempting us, God's word fills us with righteousness and the right things to do. And I think that has to do with the next thing that I'm going to say, which I maybe it's not five things, maybe it's four, and this is part B of number two, which is to resist the temptation with the word of truth. Go to scripture and understand what the word of truth is, because the enemy never brings truth to us. It may sound good, it may be justifying, uh, it may sound justifying at, at the moment that it's being said by the enemy, but it's never truth. And the enemy always brings us words that are created and designed for us to move away from God. But when we go into God's word and we seek out the real truth, then we are more willing to get away from that temptation. And then maybe the next thing we do is we refocus our minds and hearts with praise. We praise God. We put on some Christian music, some praise music. I don't know about you, but when I put on Christian music, somehow whatever I'm tempted with just disappears. And I, I think, man, what was I even tempted with? It, it just absolutely disappears. Going back to my brownies and muffins analogy, if I had gotten on the treadmill right away as soon as I put those in the other room and walked away, if I had gotten on the treadmill and maybe I would have worked so hard on the treadmill that that brownie or muffin would not have been as tempting to me, right? I would have, it would have focused my mind elsewhere. I think Christian music and praise songs focus us on God rather than the enemy. And then even when we fail, we recognize that we will sin and we ask for God's forgiveness. We repent and ask for forgiveness and turn the other direction. Now for the secret that I reveal, I ate the muffin. And then later I ate a brownie and they were delicious. And I didn't let that keep going. I stopped. 
and I turned around and I went the other way and continued with exercising and good eating habits. So I wasn't destructive when I had the brownie and the muffin. Delicious, but then turned around and did what I needed to do. When we sin, let us ask for forgiveness and repent, turn around the other direction and get back to what God is asking of us. Have a blessed week.